Hello everyone. Today we're going to see how to create a batch and mount ABS volume to Linux Residue in AWS. Firstly, we'll log into our AWS account. Then we'll go on to EC2 dashboard and create our instance. After that, we'll check our volume. We'll click on volumes. So here we are displayed the volume which is used. So we can see as a size is 8 GB. So we, now we will create a new volume. So for that, we need to click on the create new volume. Then we can select our preferred size. So we'll select 300. And make sure that the EBS volume and the instance are in the same zone. Now select the created volume. Okay, now. We have created the volume. So first we'll refresh and check if the volume is perfectly created or not. Okay, yes. The status is saying okay. So volume is created. So now what we'll do, we'll right click on the volume and select the attach volume option. Now we'll select the EC2 instance from the instant text box as shown below. Now, yeah, and now we'll attach the volume. Again, we have to refresh and check if it's if it's in use or not. So yes, it will successfully attached. So now we we'll log into our EC2 instance and list the available disk using the following command. So we'll go to mobile here. Now we'll update packages in our Linux system and we'll type the command sudo apt update. So now the second step will be we will install XFS utilities package on Linux system. And the command is sudo apt get installed XFS folder. So now we will use command ls vlk. This command will list the disk which we attach to your instance. So now we'll check if the volume has any data using the following command. Command is sudo file dash s file dash s slash. So as you can see, the above command output shows dev xvdf data. It means your volume is empty. So now we'll format the volume to the ext4 file system using the following command. Sudo mkfs dash t xfs slash So now, alternatively, you can also use the XFS format. You have to use either ext4 or xfs. So, 
to use the command sudo mkfs. So now we'll create a directory of our own choice to mount our new ext4 volume. I am using the name new volume. We can name something new to you. We will use command sudo mkd slash new volume. Now will mount the volume to new volume directory using the following command. sudo mount slash f slash xpdf slash new volume. Now we'll check the disk space to validate the volume mount. We'll use command cd slash new volume. And df dash h. The above command, command show the free space in the new volume directory. So now we can see the free space in the directory. Now we use again the So now we can see the free space in the directory. So now we can exit from the directory by using the command cd. See how we attach 